Hey Libra, welcome to your messages from your spirit guides for the month of December. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is what you need to know at this time from spirit or your spirit guides. So we're going to see what we get here. We have three um, oracle decks and we're going to pull three messages from each deck. And I'll do that first and then we'll clarify each message with a tarot card. So I hope everybody's doing well. So this is intended for now, whenever you see this really, even though it's dated December, will be uh, probably up before D, well, actually probably be up in December since today um, is the last day of November, which I'm recording this. So we'll be up in December. So it's intended for whenever you see this, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and look in my uh, channel, Feel free to watch past readings. Playlists are listed below in the description box. So feel free to browse my channel. All right, so let's see what we have for Libra. Spirit messages for Libra. Let's get three from each Oracle deck. And if you want to skip ahead past the shuffling, please uh, feel free to do that. Or um, you can speed up the reading also in the settings. All right, so all the decks are listed below if you are interested in what decks I'm using. They are also in the description box. There's a lot of information down there, so you can go check that out if you like to. Uh, how to book a personal reading, all kinds of stuff down there. All right, social media. All right, so let's get three of these for Libra. Three messages for Libra Spirit, please. One. Two. Okay, I think those three stuck right in my hand, so I think they're meant for you. And three of these. So we have Earth Magic, Work Your Light, and this is the uh, Spirit Messages. So let's see what we have for Libra at this time. What does Spirit want you to know? Messages from your Spirit Guides. For Libra at this time, Spirit. Can we have three messages, please? One. Feeling that one was sticking out. One more, one more message. Oops, for the Libra. One more message for Libra, please. All right, let's see what we have here. From the Earth Magic, we have Lightning, Power. So this sometimes reminds me, kind of reminds me of the Tower card. So there may be something coming in that could be a shock, a surprise. Um, this is really being like in your power. Something may hit you like a bolt of lightning, could be like a spiritual awakening, just an aha moment. Um, and really uh, gaining enlightenment on something which gives you power to like maybe move forward on something. Um, or it could be a shock, a surprise or something here coming in. Ooh, electricity, summer solstice, radiance. So this is the sun energy, summer energy. So this is all about, you know, happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family, everything with uh, growth, abundance. Wow, okay. And we have shaman, ancient healing, wisdom. So there may be, um, if you feel like you've been needing to reach out for like chakra healing or past life healing or some sort of healing, uh, maybe you should reach out to somebody. Uh, if you know somebody or online, Facebook, YouTube, there's a lot of healers uh, that may help you. Or if you feel like you are a shaman or you have those healing abilities or capabilities, this is confirming that for you. That some of you indeed could be a shaman. Very radiant, powerful healing because we have healing healing two cards of healing it's like you have the power to heal because we have power radiance summer sun is all about healing also and healing some of you do have the power here to heal wow wow okay so let's see what this has to say keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so this may be in your lineage. Maybe you have ancestors that were shamans or healers or something like that. And they're trying to guide you, lead you. If you're thinking about going in that field, um, they're trying to guide you. They're trying to lead you. They're trying to show you signs, symbols, messages here. And they're really supporting you. Ancestors, passed over loved ones, um, your angels, your spiritual guides. 
Wow, okay. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So this may be all new to you. Maybe you could just be coming into this awakening that you have these gifts, that you have this energy about you, that you have the power to heal. <laughs> wow, and we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Exactly. So I feel like this is one big message for some of you. you may be trying to answer that call, trying to discover yourself, um, having that spiritual awakening that, wow, I have the power within me to heal and I need to shine myself outwards, my radiance outward and share my gift with the world. And that's answering the call there. And you have all that celestial energy, universal energy helping you. Like I said, ancestors, passed over loved ones, your angels, your spiritual guides, um, ascended masters, Wow, Libra. It's a big, I feel it's a big message for someone, may not be for everybody. Um, all right, so let's see what we have here. We have inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. And it's kind of directly, kind of like here with the sun. So I feel like, I feel like now you could be feel, uh, feeling very, very fiery, passionate about this and like ready, just to go for it. Okay. And now we have hello from heaven. Wow. So these two are almost the same exact energy. Wow. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. And I had just, just said that, sending you signs and symbols. Wow. Okay. I mean, it could be animals. It could be um, trinkets. It could be music. It could be numbers, letters, um, anything here. You're seeing the same animals over and over, insects, anything like that. And we have animal kingdom. And I just said animals. <laughs> animals of all types are extraordinary. I'm sorry about the glare. Okay. Creatures, extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our, our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. So some of you may have connection to animals. Um, you may have a farm. You may have um, lots of cats and dogs. You may just really connect with, you know, animals and nature. And this also could be your, uh, that spiritual world sending you signs and symbols through animals. Wow. So I'm feeling this is like one big message for some, for some, um, you may be getting an awakening and aha moment. Uh, and all of a sudden you have the power to do what you need to do. But I see, you know, healing energy. I see uh, victory, success, happy home and family, growth, expansion with the summer. Maybe during the summer, something may be happening now. And then you'll have this energy by summertime. And some of you, you know, um, ancient healing wisdom. Um, I mean, you could be visiting uh, a shaman or a healer or... Um, you just have that wisdom um, about that kind of healing energy. Um, or maybe some of you are just healing over sickness and injury, a surgery or something like that for some of you. And I see everything by summer here being total happiness and joy. But I do feel like over here is like answering the call to your awakening and your universal energies are trying to lead you in the right direction if you really feel like it's your call now to move forward into the spiritual journey. This, um, some of you, it is a healer of some kind and know if this is a new inspired passion, if it's not this, something else, uh, it's telling you to go for it because your ancestors. And again, that outerly world is here supporting you and sending you all kinds of symbols. I feel especially through animals and you may have a strong connection with animals. I see horses, dogs, birds, I mean, everything here, so some of you may work at a zoo, you may live on a farm, you may, um, or something like that. All right, so I'm going to clarify each one here with tarot, Libra. 
So Libra, I do ask if you're new and you do like my style, how I read, you can check out my channel, um, see what, see if you like what you see. And if you do, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. If you comment, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do four readings a month and they're all different. So thank you so much if you do. You can check the description box below, tons of stuff down there. And thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it for supporting me in the channel in any way. Couldn't do without you guys, so thank you so much. Okay, so let's get clarifiers here, see what's going on for you, Libra, at this time from Spirit, Spirit Guide Messages. All right, let's get one, two, let's get one more. All right, see what's on the bottom of the deck, overall energy. The Emperor, em Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter here, but this is being in your power. This is, you know, I had just said here, power. Now we have the Emperor, is somebody who sits in their power, knows their value, their worth. They could be an entrepreneur, they're, they're very strong-willed, they're courageous, they're brave, they go after what they want, they have a lot of value, um, determination, go-getter kind of energy. They know their self-worth. They take the lead, they're in charge, they're in control, a ruler or... They could own their own business, be a boss or something like that. So being in Emperor Empress power here. So being true to yourself. So let's see. What is this lightning power? Princess of Cups. So this is um, loving communication of some kind. So it could be an apology. It could be um, words of love and affection. Or it could be um, coming to a truce. It could be peace. Um, like a peaceful resolution between two people, being on the same page um, kind of energy. So somebody may finally find the power within them and, and to come forward to just have a peaceful resolution, to have um, peace and harmony, apologies, just, you know, like loving communication. doesn't have to be a lover. It could be anybody here. So somebody will find the power here to uh, maybe rectify a situation by apologizing or uh, bringing love back into a situation, whether it's a friend, a family member, a, you know, a lover here. So that's a good energy. So let's see here. So we have summer solstice, the king of swords. So I feel by um, summer, every you know, you'll be seeing with truth and clarity, standing up for yourself, cutting away all the BS that doesn't serve you. Telling it like it is, you know, not afraid to speak the truth and really thinking and seeing clearly to your total happiness and joy and success here. Very, very clear uh, energy there. All right, so let's see shaman. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, exactly. If some of you have been thinking about starting a new business, starting a new venture, going into the spiritual field of some kind, whether it's being a healer, or opening a Reiki business or opening some sort of healing business or going into that field, this is divinely guided for you. And I do feel like it's been handed down to you since your ancestors. It's in your lineage and you have these abilities to heal. And this is, it's okay. Some people think if you have this gift that you shouldn't accept monetary for it, but spirit saying, yes. This is divinely guided energy. You want to go in this field. You want to start this business. You want to ask for, um, you know, payment for your services. Absolutely. It's a brand new beginning here based on uh, stability, structure, abundance, growth, expansion, something long-term. This is something that you could probably do the rest of your life and be very, very uh, successful and be very um, stable and abundant. And it's okay to ask for monetary for your services absolutely for some of you and i know some may feel guilty like if i have this natural ability i should not ask for payment for my services but spirits like absolutely your time your energy everything is of value so all right so now we have the keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you yeah eight of pentacles so they're really trying hard here to work with you to show you the way show you the light they're really working hard to show you signs and symbols and messages so you really need to uh pay attention to that they are 
around you at all times. If you pray, you meditate, maybe before you go to bed at night, when you're still and quiet, I think they're really, really working hard here to communicate with you and to lead you in the right direction. Wow. All right. So let's see here. Wow, awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. This is the Ace of Cups. This could be a big, very, and I have said that, very, very, very big spiritual awakening. Now, the Ace of Cups is usually like a brand new beginning in love and fulfillment and that, but it also can be a whole new beginning based on this divinely guided spiritual awakening calling you into your life purpose, your life mission here. So being totally fulfilled from with divine energy, uh, spiritual energy, being divinely connected here and all that energy overflowing, overflowing so much that you're having this awakening that you need to share all this overflowing energy with the world. Peace, harmony here. Big, big spiritual awakening here, connection. Wow, okay. So let's see here. Answer the call. Ten of Pentacles. Exactly. What is your soul calling you to do? So whatever here, some of you are deciding to go down, walk this field, answer the call to go into the spiritual world. This is going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles, which is total abundance, growth, prosperity for the long term. You'll never have to worry. You'll be financially set. You'll never have to worry about your finances, your monetary lack or anything like that. This is total growth and abundance. Happy home and family can be, you know, marriage it can be commitment uh family legacy holding down family legacy and for those that come after you so if your gifts here are passed down to your children or whatever here this is passing the legacy down i think it's also been passed down to you from your ancestors also wow answer the call answer the call libra all right so we have inspire passion with the six of cups exactly so i think six of cups can speak of past lifetimes it can think speak of things from the past so this could be an energy for some of you something you've wanted to do since childhood it's been an inner passion since you were a kid uh, thinking and thinking and reflecting back on that like i've always wanted to do this i still have that passion that fire burning within me to do this and again you could have had this gift in past lives also, again, with your ancestors and your pastoral beloved ones, your heritage, your lineage, all being passed down here with the Six of Cups and past life energy too. You could have had these gifts as well in past lives. So if you've been thinking back to your childhood, like I've known this since childhood, I want to do this since childhood. If it's not the spiritual energy, if it's something else, spirits like you've had this passion for so long, it's, it's time to ignite that and move it forward. Wow. All right. Let's see. Hello from heaven. So, wow. So now we have the um, magician here, the alchemist, brand new beginning. So you're, whatever brand new beginning you're setting out on, whatever you're trying to manifest going forward, whatever it is for you, if it's this spiritual um, journey, something else, a new job, career, moving, a new life, whatever here, heaven, all your worldly energies from heaven the universe um all that energy they're behind you they're supporting you they're watching over you protecting you trying to send you these signs and symbols and messages and helping you to manifest and they want you to manifest this new beginning for yourself whatever it may be using all your tools and resources your knowledge your faith your hope your uh love your compassion your stability everything here moving forward your passion and we got the passion here. So, wow. So let's see what we have here. Animal Kingdom. We got the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands can talk of um, competition, um, conflict. So, you know, you may have some inner conflict within you uh, about something here. But I think whatever inner conflict you have or conflict around you, I think you find your inner piece of sanctuary by going out in nature, spending time with your pets, your animals, whatever here. It's like you can get rid of all this energy that is swirling around inside your head or just around you in life and finding your peace, your joy, your happiness by spending it with your pets, um, your animals, 
uh, nature here that it's okay to go to go and do that when you feel all this conflicting energy around you or in within you I think you find the answers you need by being in the energy of animals or pets or something like that I think they really help you some of you to see clearly beyond all this um, conflict whatever it may be wow so we do have the emperor empress here doesn't matter male female whoever's watching this that being in your emperor power being who you truly are meant to be and knowing your value and your worth that you do have value you do have worth and it's okay to ask for compensation for your gifts absolutely and being divinely guided there uh with the ace of cups it's a big spiritual awakening for some of you or it could be a brand new beginning in love maybe somebody woke up and that you're connected to and finally had a big awakening here that okay this is my ace of cups person and i want to work with them to the ten of pentacles and offering something here they've seen what truth and clarity now they're offering their love it's a past life soulmate manifesting the new beginning you know getting over the conflict and taking charge so a lot of different messages here so that's like separate for some if you don't resonate with all the other messages here wow so there's a lot of energy here libra so take what resonates throw away what doesn't uh, may not be for everybody so um i hope you enjoyed this so good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light